Shares of Southwestern Energy gaining more than 30% so far this year. Uh, that company among the best performers in the S&P oil and gas index over the past year. Stephen Mueller, CEO of Southwestern Energy, runs that independent energy company, and he joins us now uh, live from Houston. Uh, good morning to you, sir. Uh, as you heard uh, in the break before this, natural gas prices, some concern about the, the downward trend there. Uh, what is your expectation? expectation uh, for the price of natural gas. Uh, good morning. Uh, natural gas is going to be challenged here for a while. Uh, the, uh, as you heard, storage is getting nearly full. Next few months are going to be difficult. As you look out in the future, though, uh, we're not running enough rigs in the country to uh, supply or at least hold our supply flat even. And so it's going to come back around. It's, it's typical oil and gas industry, a lot of volatility. Got to manage through the volatility. When you talk about that coming back, what kind of time frame are you looking at? Well, it, a lot of it depends on how fast rigs come back, and they certainly won't come back as these prices drop off. If you just kept 700 rigs flat by, uh, early, certainly by next summer, uh, production's where it was early 2008, and that should pull everything back into demand. So it's not too far away uh, unless we start seeing some kind of help on the gas price side. Mm -hmm. uh, when you take a look at where we are in, in terms of uh, the comeback or potential comeback from the economic recession that we've been in, you know, the Energy Department uh, is still expects consumption to, to be less than what it was last year and to continue that way. Um, what's your expectation in terms of the consumption side uh, of natural gas? Uh, I, we don't really have a good handle on that. Uh, I think the, the government, the various agencies out there and the various groups that, that do that, uh, we look at the range. Uh, but I can tell you that with the number of rigs you're running, you'll, you're going to decline much faster than demand can possibly decline. So it, it will catch up. If demand goes down faster, maybe that number I talked about uh, moves out to later next year. But it, it's a next year phenomenon. All right, sir. I'm not sure if you can still hear me here, uh, but I know in looking at your bio, you have a, a degree in geologic engineering from the Colorado School of Mines. So I want to ask you, um, in Washington right now, a fair amount of debate about hydraulic fracturing and the, the way, basically, that you extract the product that you sell from the ground itself. Uh, what is your thought uh, as, when Congress does reconvene about the prospects for changing the very nature by which you do your business? Well, there's uh, two basic thoughts I've got there. The, the first one is is that um, anything they do, or at least anything they're talking about doing, will actually hamper the amount of drilling. So that goes exactly opposite of what I was just talking about, uh, of even trying to get production back. And I'll just accelerate that overall production decline. And the reason for that is that more than 70 percent of the wells in the country are actually fracked wells. And so anything to delay that, change it, or something will affect the, the drilling program. The second part of that is the, the biggest fear is that uh, in some way we're putting some kind of fluid in the ground that could get into the groundwater. And we've got a lot of experience as an industry with that. There are several strings of casing pipe that's between whatever we're doing and the groundwater. And there's several thousand feet between whatever we're doing and the groundwater. So uh, I think the biggest thing for us is just to educate both the public and, and the legislators and explain to them that, mm -hmm. that what they're really afraid of is very difficult to happen. All right. Well, uh, we're going to have to wrap it up here, but quickly before we go, I do want to ask you, you've sold about a billion dollars worth of non-core assets last year, but as we introduced you, you're one of the top performed members of the, of the S&P Energy Index. Uh, any plans for acquisitions in the year ahead? Uh, we're always looking to expand and grow, but on the other hand, we like to grow through the drill bit. So from an actual acquisition of, say, of a company or those kind of things, uh, that's just not part of our business. All right. Thank you so much, Stephen Mueller, CEO of Southwestern Energy. Thank you so much for joining us uh, this morning.